Okay, here we are at the 4th of July weekend and stopping by is, I never thought I'd say it, Miss America, Laura Kepler. From the Miss Kenosha days, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, we're actually sitting on the stage at the uh, Ruther Auditorium where you were crowned Miss Kenosha way back when. You know what? That is very true. I never put that together. That's very true. Yeah, it all comes around. So I it's, know, it does. Um, well, let's talk about from Miss Kenosha to Miss, uh, well, you were, when you were at, I uh, competed at Miss Wisconsin. You were uh, what pageant were you with? Um, the first year I competed, I was Miss Kenosha, and then I placed second runner-up at Miss Wisconsin that year. And then the following year, I was Miss Southern Wisconsin, and then went to Miss Wisconsin. Okay. Well, how was it when they called your name that night in Las Vegas uh, for Miss America? Still very surreal. You know, on a daily basis, I still kind of pinch myself. I think it's something you really won't realize the full capacity of what it is until maybe five years later, ten years later. And, and it's so hectic this year that it's hard to really sit back and say, wow, you know, I, my name really was called on that stage that night. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think did it? You know, I don't know. I mean, if, if I knew, I guess I would tell someone, but I think it's, I think it's a part of a long process. And, you know, I, I just really sort of knew that it was out of my hands and trusted that what was meant to be was going to be. Um, and then as far as your singing voice was just wonderful. You're singing here tonight as well. Um, what did you sing at uh, Miss America? I sang a classical aria called Il Baccio, which means the kiss. It's um, composed by Luigi Arditi, and it's an Italian aria that I worked on um, in college and sang for Miss Wisconsin and then sang for Miss America. So continued throughout, the, throughout my journey. Well, what's a day like in the life of Miss America? You know, every day is so different. It never... One day is never the same. One day I could be singing at the Pops concert tonight. The next day I could be ta speaking to an elementary school. The next I'm flying to New York tomorrow. I'll be singing at the Mets game. I mean, every single day is so different, but primarily it's a lot of public speaking. It's a lot of performing. It's a lot of meeting new audiences on a daily basis. What was one of the highlights so far? If you had to pick one at this, because I've looked at the list, it's just amazing. You've been no. at Miller Park, and then I, the Super Bowl. Yeah. I was at, I sang at a Yankees game. I think that might. Well, I was at the Super Bowl, but I, I sang at a Yankees game, the national anthem, and I think you know that's like the Kingdom Hall of all baseball fields. So I think that was pretty cool. And Aaron Rodgers did call. No, I well, I met him. I met him, but he still has yet to call. Uh, so that's still my little. <laughs> I met him, but he hasn't called yet. So. Well, let's talk about the platform that uh, you have as Miss America. What is the platform? Uh, advocating for kids who have parents in prison. So I spend a lot of my time talking about the millions of kids in our country that have a parent in prison and that um, they deserve equal rights for support groups and support systems, just like anyone else who may be experiencing that. Okay. And you're also an ambassador for the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, let's hear all about that, what the Miss uh, America organization uh, supports. The national platform of Miss America is Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So I do a lot of service work for my platform, for Children's Hospital. We do a lot of work with the USO, but I travel to a lot of the hospitals, meet with the kids, meet with their families, and then also do a lot of fundraising for Children's Hospital because no child or family is ever denied service from Children's Hospital, and so a lot of their financial support is based on fundraising. So I do a lot of fundraising for them and also spend time with the kids and just try and brighten their day from, from these horrible illnesses that they might have. Someone would want to donate. Is there a website for that organization? Um, Children's Miracle Network.com, I believe. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the city, I don't know if we're in the state, exploded when you were with America. Yeah, your reactions from your friends, family. I know. I wish I could have been here for that. You know, that would have been a part that I wished I would have could have come here and seen everyone's reactions because I only saw it from a, uh, from afar. Um, but yeah, they were all so excited and it's so fun to be back and see everyone and, and be able to share something with them, you know, because what I've done so far has been away and my family and friends have seen via email and pictures and Twitter and Facebook and, and now they get to see it live and happening. So that's really cool. And coming in, they got road signs saying, Home of Miss America. Like I that. know. I've only seen one once, and I haven't been home long enough this time to go drive around and see them. So maybe tomorrow I will. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> well, one question I got to ask you that everybody wants to know the answer to. <laughs> Are you going to go get a burger at the spot? You know what? Well, today we realized I, f I forgot about the 4th of July sale. How could oh, I do that? Right. I worked there for six years. But I remembered 
that it's the sale. And so probably tomorrow we will stop and get a spot. For those who don't know that you worked there before all this stuff happened. I know. Absolutely Best terrific. Best in town. <laughs> uh, and anything for the future of Miss America? Now it goes up until January. Any events that uh, we can be aware of? Well, I'll be on the road for the next six months still. So I was on the road for the first six months, and I'll still travel for the next six. So until January, I'll be gone and off doing who knows what. But I'll travel about every other day. I change locations in about 20,000 miles a month. So till January 12th. Just so you know, it doesn't end January 12th. I know. I know. That's the thing. In my mind, I keep thinking January 12th, but I know it. that's really kind of just the beginning. So... But a great, it was just a great feeling. And again, we can, on the behalf of Canal Street, we congratulate you. And uh, here's some to add to your oh, collection. Thank you. As yeah, <laughs> with you always a give me flowers. So, thank you. Uh, again, That's I, so sweet. Congratulations, Miss America, Laura Kepler. And thank you so much for stopping by and talking thank to us today. You.